20 something is so relatable even now I'm 30 and I relate to this and I get the impression that I'm always going to and that a lot of people will as well it's a 2021 spark shorts short from Pixar and it depicts the struggles of adulting it's directed and written by Afton Corbin and it's about this young woman who has just turned 21 and she's in a club with her older sister celebrating but there are different sides to her personality and they're all from her past. There's her 16 year old slightly gothic phase self, there's her 10 year old sweet loving self and then there's the tiny little baby who just cries at the drop of a hat and throughout the evening she goes through these range of emotions and is struggling to cope in an adult world. And the message here is that it doesn't matter how old you are, being an adult is difficult. And there's this sense that once we become adults, we leave behind our childhood completely. You know, it's black and white. You're an adult or you're a child. But this blurs those boundaries and suggests that just because you are now 21 or 18 in the UK, technically 16, it doesn't mean you instantly let go of those childlike qualities. They are part of who we are. They're a part of our makeup and something that we will carry with us. And we get to see other adult characters in the cartoon, in the animation, displaying childlike qualities and, and highlighting the fact that we are all our inner child and that we never leave that part of us. And just because society says you should now be an adult and you should grow up, it doesn't mean it's easy. And I think it's such a relatable short that I think every one of us can in some way or at some point relate to Gia who has turned 21. As I said, I'm 30. I turned 30 a couple of months ago and I still don't feel like an adult. If there is a problem, I'm going to look for an adult. I can't solve the problem because I can't adult yet. And I think it's something a lot of people can relate to and it's comforting that this, this animation shows that, that we're not alone. We may feel drowned in being adults, but actually it's okay to feel like we're still part of the child we were or part of the teenager we were, and we still have those feelings. And actually, I won't spoil it too much, but it kind of suggests that when you're drunk and you're going through the motions of being drunk you know you're getting very giddy and childlike and then you come crashing down and you burst into tears at the drop of a hat which often happens when people are drunk because their emotions are on the surface you actually display these childlike qualities anyway so it encompasses quite a lot of things that kind of tie in together and i really thoroughly enjoyed it i thought the animation style itself was beautiful it worked very well it was entertaining but also really meaningful and i think that's something we can all relate to. Maybe I'm the only one who's 30 and still feels like a 12 year old a lot of the time. Um, I don't know. But certainly when you're just becoming an adult, it's a very difficult time because you're kind of forced to grow up and you know deal with taxes and pay slips and paying bills and, and rent. But at the same time, you are still just the child you were. It, you, if a switch doesn't just flip, the second you become an adult. Things take time, as this short suggests. In my case, sometimes it may take a very long time. Still not there, still plodding on. 20 something is absolutely beautiful. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. I think everybody can get something out of it. If you haven't seen it, head to Disney Plus, it's on there. I thoroughly recommend it.